mention there, though, changes that you would like to make to welfare, and you are announcing this morning some extra yeah. money for talking therapies to help yes. people get back to work, and you're also re-emphasising a lot of other changes that you want to make to the welfare system. But where's the evidence that these changes will save anything like the £12 billion that you claim it will? Because if you look at the lines and the graphs of welfare payments and the numbers of welfare claimants mm, mm. under your time in charge yeah. as successive Conservative administrations, the lines go one way. They go up yeah. and up yeah. and up. So where's the evidence what you're announcing now will make so a difference? So up and up and up is not sustainable and that's something we're going to deal with and that's the point. So if you held the case load for those of working age who are getting some kind of health and disability element to their benefits. That's a cost at the moment of £69 billion. It's enormous. That, is, that is forecast. Well, that's forecast to rise to £90 billion, And the, that's a, a, a clear um, number there. £90 billion. It's a £21 billion increase. If we just held the level of the caseload, it would actually be £14 billion less than the forecast. If we got the caseload back to where it was pre-pandemic, it would be about £34 billion lower than the forecast. We're saying 12 billion lower than the forecast in five years time is eminently achievable with the reforms that we're bringing in. You mentioned the additional mental health support because a lot of the issue here is younger people in particular with mental health problems. So over half a million additional talking therapies in the NHS, uh, mental health and welfare hubs across the, uh, the country, 150 of those, a mental health team for every single primary, secondary and further educational college in the country. Those are things that can move the dial. And one of the big reforms that I've brought in mm -hmm. is to change the gateway into some of these benefits, the work capability assessment that the OBR says already mm -hmm. will mean 440,000, almost half a million fewer people on those long-term benefits as a result of our reforms. The public what, expects and the taxpayer for. expects mm -hmm. a sustainable system. It has to be fair to those that need support, mm -hmm. but equally it must be fair to the taxpayer and it must be sustainable if the public are going to have confidence in our welfare system. And I'm sure system. that welfare will be an issue that we'll come back to later in the campaign. Yeah. Uh, 